Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to today's session. And our yesterday's quiz question was to name the architect of Rock Garden, Chandigarh. And it is very famous artist, Netchand Saini. It is not an important fact related with your prelims, but just to know it. So we'll be moving to today's session. First question for the day, which among the following statements is are true regarding National Interlinking of Rivers Authority, NARI? Statement 1, it is expected to take up both interstate and intrastate projects. And statement 2, it will make arrangements for generating funds internally and externally. Select the correct answer using the cards given below. Option A, 1 only. Option B, 2 only. Option C, both 1 and 2. And option D, neither 1 nor 2. So the correct answer here is option C, both 1 and 2, both the statements are correct. The authority, National Interlinking of Rivers Authority is expected to take up both interstate and intrastate projects. It will also make arrangements for generating of funds internally and externally. And it will be headed by Union Minister of Jal Shakti. And the panel includes Irrigation or Water Resources Ministers or Secretaries of States. And guys, National River Linking Project or it is also called as National Perspective Plan. So it aims to transfer water from water surplus basins where there is flooding to water deficit basins where there is drought or scarcity and it is done through inter-basin water transfer projects. There is a shortage of water in western and southern India and the recurrent floods are happening in the eastern parts of Ganga Basin. So the interlinking of rivers could solve these two problems at one hand and as of now, six river link interlinking projects are under consideration. First one is Ken Betwa. It aims to transfer surplus water from the Ken River in the Madhya Pradesh to Betwa in UP. And it is to irrigate the drought prone Bundelkhand region. Second one is Daman Ganga Pinjal project, which aims to divert excess water from the rivers in the western India. It is to meet the domestic and industrial water requirements of Greater Mumbai. And it proposes to move available water at the proposed Bugad Reservoir across the Daman Ganga and also at the proposed Kargi Hill Reservoir. And third project is Par Tapi Narmada Link Project. This proposes to transfer water from the Western Ghats to water deficit regions of Saurashtra and Kutch. And this would be done via seven reservoirs proposed in the Northern Maharashtra and Southern Gujarat. It is an attempt to save water at the Sardar Sarovar project. Another project is Manas Sankosh Tista Ganga Link. It is one of the links proposed under Himalayan component of river interlinking project. It is diversion of surplus waters of the Manas and Sankosh rivers to the Tista, Ganga and beyond to meet the requirements of water deficit areas. And by making suitable provisions in the link canal, it should be possible to release the required water into Tista during the summer to Oakman river flows, thus meeting the requirements being proposed for water sharing with Bangladesh. And last two are Mahanadi Godavari link and Godavari Kaveri link. Now the centre has chosen to focus on the Godavari Kaveri link rather than the earlier proposal to link Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Pennar and Kaveri rivers. And Godavari Kaveri link project consists of three links. First one is Godavari Krishna link and second one is Krishna Pennar link and the last one is Pennar Kaveri link. And this proposal is to link the Godavari which is prone to flooding and Krishna which doesn't have enough water. So that is about river interlinking projects in India. And we will now move to second question with reference to Pradhan Mandri Bharatiya Jan Aushadi Pariyojana PMBJP. Consider the following statement. Statement 1. It creates awareness about generic medicines through education and publicity. And statement 2. It provides free medicine to all BPL category people. And statement 3. Bureau of Pharma PSUs of India, BPPI, is the implementing agency of PMBJP. So which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only. Option B 2 and 3 only. Option C 1 and 3 only. And option D. 1, 2 and 3. So the correct answer here is option C, 1 and 3 only. PMBJP is a campaign launched by Department of Pharmaceuticals in 2008 under the name Gen Aushadi Campaign and Bureau of Pharma PSUs of India 
is the implementation agency for PM BJP and BPPA works under Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers. PM BJP stores have been set up to provide generic drugs. Generic drugs, I hope you all know what is it. They are available at lesser prices but are equivalent in quality and efficacy as expensive branded drugs. It also intends to extend the coverage of quality generic medicines so as to reduce the out-of-pocket expenditure on medicines. It will create awareness about generic medicines through education and publicity. And this question is important because Gen Aushadi week has been celebrated across the country from 1st March to 7th March 2020. Last question for the day, which among the following statements is are true regarding black carbon? Statement 1, it results from incomplete combustion of fossil fuels and biomass. Statement 2, it is short lived and remains in atmosphere only for days to week and statement 3 it absorbs solar energy and warms the atmosphere so select the correct answer using the calls given below option a 1 and 2 only option b 2 and 3 only and option c 1 and 3 only and option d 1 2 and 3 so the correct answer here is option d 1 2 and 3 all the above statements are correct black carbon is a solid particle or aerosol though not a gas it contributes to the warming of atmosphere. It is commonly known as soot. Soot is a form of particulate air pollutant produced from incomplete combustion. It warms the earth by absorbing heat in the atmosphere and by reducing albedo when deposited on snow and ice. Black carbon is the strongest absorber of sunlight and heats the air directly. In addition, it, it darkens snowpacks and glaciers through deposition and leads to melting of ice and snow. So black carbon gets deposited on the snow and ice and it absorbs sunlight there and eventually leads to melting of ice and snow. Black carbon stays in atmosphere only for several days to weeks. Thus the effects of black carbon on the atmospheric warming and glacier retreat disappear within months of reducing emissions. And there is one another type of carbon called brown carbon. Brown carbon is an unidentified component of organic aerosol and biomass burning Possibly domestic wood burning is shown to be the major source of brown carbon and brown carbon is generally referred for greenhouse gases and black carbon for particles resulting from impure combustion such as soot and dust. So brown carbon is a kind of gas, in fact greenhouse gas, whereas black carbon is dust or soot. And guys today we have a different type of quiz question. I will be providing a statement as well as four options. You can choose the correct one. So our statement is. The increasing amount of carbon dioxide in the air is slowly raising the temperature of the atmosphere and what is the reason for it? So options are first option the water vapor of the air and retains its heat and statement 2 the ultraviolet part of the solar radiation and statement 3 all the solar radiations and statement 4 the infrared part of the solar radiation. So post your answers in the comment section guys. And also we will be publishing this question in our telegram channel and there you can directly record your answer in the poll mode. You can also try that link of the telegram channel is provided on the description. So that's all for today guys. We will meet tomorrow with another set of questions. Don't forget to comment your scores and answer to the quiz question. Thank you for watching.